does have a lot of power. I'm actually starting to like this wrap. It's pretty comfortable. It is, yeah. Like, it's not rough at all. Like, this could be a really good daily driver, I think. I like the hood scoop up there. That looks really nice. Looks really aggressive. Very spacious, too, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like these windows are massive. And I like how it kind of dips down here. So, I think the whole purpose of this is you can kind of see outside. On the trail, right? Yeah. Did you hear the turbo spool? <laughs> yeah. That sounds kind of nice. Honestly, I don't mind the sound of this Raptor. I think it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be based on what I've heard, right? It's actually pretty good. sound like a T-Rex? No, but this one has its own character. I kind of like it. What do you think, Zian? You like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. It just, the only thing that bothers me is it's near, when I come to a stop sometimes it's like, it has this jerky motion. I don't know why. Is that the transmission? See, right? you felt that? Yeah. It's like when it shifts, it shifts really hard. Or Feels very nimble too. I really like these seats. I like the orange accent with the orange st stitching and the Alcantara right here. Really nice, very nice. And there's an 802 package, so you've got the heated seats with cold seats. This one is fully loaded. Auto stop, there's your camera, 360 surround camera, hill descent, there's your traction control. So my initial driving impressions, this truck, has got more power than what I was expecting. It's only 450 horsepower, but when you step on it, this thing goes. Like it flies, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I was surprised just like how much get up and go this this, this truck has. Like this uh, EcoBoost has a lot of power. I just find, I, I just feel like the transmission is working so hard trying to find the right gear to be in. So sometimes I'm giving a gas and it's like trying to figure out what gear to go into. So maybe having a 10 speed, I don't know. I feel like it's too many gears. Like it's just not, I just feel like it's never like in the right gear that it should be. Did you get a shot of these paddle shifters? Really nice look. They're so big and they're aluminum or some metal. 
I actually feel really nice. The steering wheel feels really good. I like this stripe they have on the top, but this one's a little damaged, but I'm sure you could replace that. Or maybe you might have to replace the whole cover. I don't know, but it feels nice. You got these thumb grips here. It's really nice. You got all your controls right here for your cruise control, menu selector, voice command. Well, is there anything else here? Oh, I think this is for heated steering wheel. Oh, so you can adjust the uh, steering feel. So there's sport. Imagine if this had a, a V8. Like it doesn't even have to be supercharged, just, just the regular V8. Like the five liter coyote engine. I think this would be a perfect truck. But I don't feel like it's underpowered at all. Like when you if you want to pass someone. It, it takes a while. It takes a while for the turbos to, to spool up, and it takes a while for the truck to figure out what gear to go to. But once it does, then it just it just goes. But overall, I kind of like this truck. I feel like it's um, much more practical, or economical, I should say, compared to the TRX. I feel like this is more nimble. It feels a little smaller, it's not as tall. I don't feel I don't feel it's as tall. It just feels a little bit more nimble, lighter than the TRX. But what do you think so far, Zian? I like it a lot. Yeah, I like these switches here. I don't think they're wired for anything, but that's so cool. Let's look at that. And very comfortable too, right? Yeah. I find the seats are very comfortable. Like this would be a really good daily car. I could see uh, us going long road trips with this, like it's very comfortable. 